This is the new branch banking, new leaf, 62 kilowatt stunden. Yes, and behind me I have a, I have a fossil car idling. But anyway, today I will do the range test. So I've been charging the car to almost 100%, but you know, the leaf actually goes to true 100%. So it takes forever to charge it to 100%. So let me show you how far we've gone. Uh, as usual, for you guys who don't know, I will, do, um, I will drive at 90 kilometers per hour and drive it almost down to zero. But you see the display here? Come on, stop beeping. It always beeps for everything, this car. Yeah, but uh, let me just adjust here a little bit. Uh, ding! It says 98% here, yeah. Earlier today it says 100%. And if you look on Leaf Spy here, they have this wonderful app. It says 98.3 something. So I think we are very close to 100% anyway. So let's just go. Yeah, I don't want to wait another hour for it to balance. Well, you can, I can show you here, by the way. It's somewhat balanced. Yeah, some of you guys will be like, whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, okay, but whatever, let's just go for it. All right, we are on the move. And uh, actually, huh, you see here, when I started driving, the display suddenly leaped up to 100%. Yeah, okay, so we were pretty much at 100% then. Yeah, and now we're just cruising. We have a little bit of traffic there, yeah. Uh, and if you see here, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, this display, holy crap there. Well, kind of. You see it's 29 degrees Celsius outside today. <laughs> that is perfect driving conditions for the Leaf. Yeah, it means lower drag. So despite that I have to spend some extra power running the air conditioning, but you can see here that uh, I only have to spend, oops, hang on, I'll move the other way. I only have to spend 400 watts extra but the gain for having lower drag is just insane. Yes, we'll see that soon. Consumption should be really nice. Oops, oops, there, yeah. So let's just sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, it's a nice, lovely day for hammering. Uh, let's check the weight of the car. So I checked the weight before on the 40 kilowatt hour leaf and it was 1,700 kilos. Yeah, so now we have 22 kilowatt hour more battery so uh, let's see how much weight the car has gained shall we all right so let's try the front axle first and go zoom a little bit closer here so you see better okay so i'll check the front axle oh 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 sorry about that there there one thousand and twenty kilos all right and then the whole car. One seven sixty, really? That's it? Only sixty more kilos. Okay, let's oh wait. Wait a minute. No, I didn't weigh it properly. One eight twenty. Oh, one hundred twenty extra kilos. Yeah, and then the rear axle. Just double checking. Eight hundred. All right, all right, 120 extra kilos then. Ooh, batteries are heavy indeed. It's now uh, 6.30 in the evening, yes. We have been driving for almost an hour. Yeah, consumption is 140, oh, it's kind of hard to read there. It's 142, oh, I'm not sure if you can read it there. 142, yeah, we're about to turn around. So far, so good. Yeah, dry, nice road, 25 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, still have a long way to go. All right, we just turn around at uh, Ionity. What well, I call it, Ionity, uh, Circle K Dawn. And you see here now. Uh, so I got an idea. I reset the trip meter, the other trip meter, right before I turn around. And according to uh, Google Maps, uh, it's 107 kilometers if I drive from here over there and back again yeah so we'll verify if we get 107 kilometers or not here because you have to figure out if the trip meter here is trustworthy yeah <laughs> so now the time is um, a little over seven we have driven well you can see here we have driven 100 oh shit sorry it's a little bit too bright so i always have to adjust it down yeah we have done oh 137 kilometers so far and we are down to 65 percent consumption has gone up it was 140 in the beginning now it it seems to stabilize at something i'm not sure what so 
we shall see. Temperature is also dropping now. Yes, this is why I wanted to start as early as possible. Mm. Oh yes, nice music in the sunset. Yeah. But anyway, let's pause the music for a bit. So, uh, according to Google Maps, it's supposed to be 53.5 kilometers from uh, Dal to here, Kulmuan, where I turn around. Okay, and if you look here, it's um, it's close enough, right? Yeah, it says 52.3. Okay, let me see. We still have to verify once we are back at Dal. But no, oh, let me see. Let me adjust it a little bit there. 52.6 okay we're about to exit let me turn off uh, cruise control 50 okay let me see if <laughs> uh, consumption is slightly higher now than it was earlier yeah because the temperature is dropping you see 22 degrees celsius okay now we are here 53 oh uh, close enough i think okay oops oops okay let's see so you see here According to Google, it should be 53.5 over there. But let's let's go back, yeah, and then see what happens. So really calm here today. Almost no traffic. It's Tuesday afternoon. You see. So um, a good day for uh, doing this test. Yeah, dry roads. Almost no wind also. All right. Oh, sun in my face. Okay. Wow, the lake is so calm today. Yeah. So now it's oh, okay. Now it's eight in the evening. So we still have long days in Norway, but uh, I definitely feel like summer is over. So, oh, it's getting yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that view. Nice. Yeah. I mean, we are in uh, August now, so um, it's getting. What, what? What is the day today? Let me check here. Oh, hi, we have he leaves by. If I can just close this one and then open and again, what's the oh, actually 27th of August? Yes, so we're getting close to September. Yeah, this summer went uh, went past too fast. Yeah, but anyway, a little status update. We are down to well, you know, maybe I should uh, decrease the brightness. So we are down to 42 percent. And then, hey, you don't have to show that brightness that long. There you go. We're down to 42% and uh, we have done 218 kilometers. So most likely we will not be able to drive 400. I'm guessing 370 maybe. Yeah, close to the VLTP range of 385 kilometers. Okay, we are back here at the uh, starting point. Uh, so according to Google, it's supposed to be 107 kilometers, right? Right on this spot this is where reset oh it says 106 so it's actually under reporting a little bit yeah it's it's almost one percent uh error here Ooh. hmm okay so it means that you could actually add a couple of kilometers to the result yeah well all right let's see now we take one more round and then we should be done yeah so i'm down to 34 percent as you saw Okay, go around here, and then the last round. All right, we have been driving for almost three and a half hours now. It's starting to get dark. It's uh, nine in the evening, yeah. So if you look here now, oh, let me see. Let me try to adjust this one, the brightness. Da, 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 da. Annoying thing is that the brightness setting there stays there for a very long time. Come on, you can disappear now. Go away, there. Yes, we're about to hit 300, no, I still have to adjust here, okay, sorry guys. There. We're about to hit 300 kilometers, we have 17% left, you see the temperature is dropping, 18 degrees Celsius, so ideally I should have started this test uh, about two, three hours earlier, but I couldn't do it, yeah, because of some circumstances, but 300 kilometers, yes. Uh, so the question is, how much longer can I go? GOM only claims 69 more kilometers. Oh, that means we will not be able to hit the VLTP range. Uh, so we shall see then. Yes, let's keep driving. Yeah, the final run now, back to Nebenes. All 
right, we're getting close to the end. It's getting dark now. Time is uh, 9.20. Oh, yeah. Winter is coming. Oh. But anyway, so uh, now it looks like this. 333 kilometers. We still have 37 kilometers on GOM. Yeah, I think we can trust that one. And you see, it says 9% left here. Yes. But if you look here on uh, Leaf Spy, you will see that Leaf Spy reports the true state of charge to be 18%. So, uh, Leaf, I mean, the, the car is hiding almost 10%. Yeah, that's just how this car works. <laughs> and you see another thing is that the temperature is suddenly rising. 35 degrees, it was hovering around 34 for the longest time, but uh, when you have lower state of charge, you will have lower uh, voltage, and that means that the current has to go up, and you get higher loss, and then you get, uh, yeah, more heat in the battery. Oh, that's an eye pace, by the way. Oh, cool. This is it. This is the final run. We just turn around at uh, Dahl. And uh, now we are at 5%. Let me uh, let me adjust this for you. It's a little bit hard with the new camcorder here. Sorry for that. But, ah, warning! Okay. Okay, 350 kilometers so far. GOM claims 20 kilometers, but GOM is also dropping kind of fast. Yeah, we are at the low battery warning now. So that happened at 8%. Oh, uh, huh, what's going on here? Uh, okay, so it's still good. Let's just keep going. So 4%, uh, I will not run it down to zero because you see, it's 4% here and it's 13.4. Uh, but I, we have to assume that most people, they don't use leaf spy. So they will only look at this display. And when this display says zero, then they better stop and charge. So um, uh, I think we'll just go to, uh, let's just stop at Nebenes. Yeah, I'll just call it a day. Uh, yeah, I'm being lazy. <laughs> and then we add the numbers together. All right, we are back at the starting, well, actually, we're not at the starting point, but close enough. So if you look at the trip meter here, you see that we drove 356 kilometers, yeah. And uh, GOM says we have another 16 kilometers. So if you have big enough balls, you can drive it down to zero. And, well, okay, there should still be a little buffer there. You're supposed to be able to drive maybe 10, 20 kilometers beyond that, but I don't recommend it. So, okay, you can try to go down to zero, but then you should really charge. So that means that, on the full charge, on, in summer, you can go about 370 kilometers. And the VLTP range is 385, so that's close enough. But keep in mind that this car has 17-inch wheels. So hopefully, most people, they use 16-inch wheels. And with the 16-inch, you get more range. Yeah, you get lower consumption and also slightly better noise. But okay, so anyway, let's plug it in. And then afterwards, I will do the high speed test. But okay, one more thing I have to do. Oh yes, you know, let's do it on the fly. So based on this one, uh, 151 watt upper kilometer times uh, 355.6. Okay, that will be 53, um, yeah. And then uh, I have to estimate how much energy we have. Oh, you know what? I estimate we have about 56 kilowatt hours of energy. Yeah, so that, that the rest, the six kilowatt hour le rest is bricking protection at the very bottom. So you will not be able to destroy your battery by completely discharging it. So yeah, uh, 56 kilowatt hours, that's actually quite a lot. Um, let me see, uh, the old one had about 36 kilowatt hours only. So that means that the new battery has 56% uh, more energy than the old one. Yeah. All right, but let's plug it in. Let's see what happens now. All right, we just plugged in. Oh, 20 kilowatt, 32 kilowatt, 37, 40. Ooh, 40 kilowatt. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, all is good. All right, I've been charging for a bit and I just want to see this just for fun. You see, oh, it starts throttling now, but you see here, um, we started with 36 degrees Celsius and now it has gone up 10 degrees, but we have added almost 30 kilowatt hours. Yeah, so it means that uh, for every kilowatt hour, you add 0.3 degrees Celsius to the battery, all right? But when I, when I look up on uh, the 40 kilowatt hour leaf, and that one was completely different. For every kilowatt hour, you get about one degree Celsius higher temperature. Yeah, that is huge, you know? 
So it means that the new battery heats up only one third of the old battery because it's bigger and maybe it has lower, uh, uh, maybe something that when you charge at 40 kilowatt, you know, it's not that high power compared to the, the battery capacity. So uh, it's still, you know, this, this new battery is still, I would say it's way more um, resistant against rapid gate than the old one. Yeah, given that you live in Norway, I guess. <laughs> All right, as usual, I stayed there way too long, but uh, let me reset the trip meter and then uh, let's check something else. So now I have 47.7 roughly and 40, uh, so about 47 degrees Celsius on these two sensors. Well, you can see here, so it goes from 40, 42 to 47 degrees. Yes, let's do the 120 kilometers per hour run. It's 50 kilometers long and then we see the temperature. <laughs> All right, I'm on the move. Um, a few, yeah, it was a truck overtaking another truck, but ideally I want to cruise at exactly 123 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that is 120 on GPS. So consumption is somewhat high. Now we have a small problem. On the return, there is a, a section with road construction. So, um, yeah, but so, um, okay. But I would do a 50 kilometer run, so it kind of evens out, but you have to take into account that the, the last part might be a bit slower, but okay. Let's, uh, let's finish this uh, uh, still. Okay, now we are on the way back. This is Minnesota, uh, so we should hit that, um, that uh, road construction soon. So I will just show you the stats so far. So let's see. We have actually 22, uh, 221 half a kilometer only. Average speed is 111. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we have to try to remember these numbers before we hit the, the traffic. So let's see. Uh, yeah, it's still not here. Ah, she. Okay, here's the road construction. Uh, yeah, they're driving barely legal, but um, it was 227 before I slowed down. So, okay, we have to take that one in account when we uh, end. But okay. Let's see how, this is probably not too far, right? Mm. All right, here are the numbers. Um, 250, okay, you know what? Um, because of the road construction, I would say 220, yes. Yeah, so we, we just add a little bit because of that slow speed, so. Um, two, uh, what the heck, that's one of my friends, I think, yeah. So 220, and that means you can go 250 kilometers in a charge, on a full charge, yes. But something else I noticed was that if you go here, the temperature, oh, hang on. The temperature hasn't gone up. Yeah, focus. No, it's not focusing. Shit, the camera, man. Come on, focus. Ah, oh, sorry guys, there, there. The temperature actually stayed the same despite hammering at 50, I mean, hammering at 120. So, but uh, we have to point out that the temperature was 16 degrees Celsius outside, yeah. Hmm, all right. So yeah, you know, uh, people always talk about the rapid gate when they talk about leaf, but uh, I would say that as long as you start the day with full battery and you have to drive far, let's say you have to drive um, 400 kilometers, uh, then you can drive at least 200, 250 kilometers at fairly high speed before you have to do your first charge. And then of course, when you do your first charging session, you might have to stay there for 45 minutes, an hour. And then you can drive another 150, 200 kilometers to your destination. So I would say that uh, driving far, even at motorway speed, uh, as long as you drive, let's say 400, maybe 500 kilometers even, which is like, let's say Oslo, Stockholm or Oslo, Malmö, okay, around there, then you should still be able to do it okay on a leaf but it's when it's when you try to go more than that and especially if it's hot outside then it's not that good but again in Norway we are blessed with cold weather so then the leaf will work just fine it will I guess almost not replicate here yeah with the new leaf so yeah anyway I think that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later